let's see what is in string function in VBA and how we can use it. Excel VBA in string function is used to find position of substring. We can find position of character, position of text, or position of an integer. And if there is no substring found, then this function returns zero as result. So let's understand this function with some examples. On this sheet, I have in cell B1 a text value. We can read it like hello, how are you? In cell C2, I will write text or character for which I want to check position in cell A1. And in cell C3, whatever is position, that number will be displayed. We can see that I have command button. So let me write only H in cell C3. And I'll click on this command button. I'm getting a message 1. When I press OK, 1 is displayed in cell C4. So I would say position of H is found as first in cell B1. Even if I check hello and click on this command button, then position remains same. But if I check another text, let me write how and then let me press this command button. I am getting message as 7. And cell value of C4 is 7. That means this text is found at 7th position. So we can check any text or any character. There is a situation when we check any text or any substring and when that is not found then it will return zero so let's check that also if i want to check let's say sunday i know that this sunday as text is not available in b1 so i'm expecting i'll get zero here so let me click on command button so i'm getting message as zero and 0 is displayed in cell C4. So I have already written VBA code on the back end of this command button. Let me click on developer tab. I will click on design mode and that let me show you the code. So this is the VBA code that I have used. So let me delete all this and rewrite this and explain this code. So what I'll do here, I have already written syntax in terms of comments. So in a string function takes four arguments, starting position, then main string where we want to search, sub string value that we want to search and then compare out of these four arguments two arguments are optional so let me start writing code first of all i'll declare a variable dim position pos as integer because position is returned only in terms of a numeric value we can give any name whatever we want second variable dim main text as a string again name we can give whatever we want and third variable i will declare here dim search text 
as a string. Once I have declared all three variables, I will assign cell B1 into main text. Main text equal to worksheets sheet1 dot cells b1 that means row number is 1 column is b that means 2 so this makes b1 dot value once we hit enter formatting is done automatically search text equal to so let's check where is the text that we want to search text is in cell c3 so worksheets sheet 1 dot cells c3 that means row number 3 c that means 3 third is the column dot value and now i will use an string function a spelling of this function is i n s t r so this variable we have already declared position p o s equal to in a string then both optional arguments i will not specify right now so i'll give just main text and search text then i want to display message box msg box position and once numeric value of position is assigned we have seen the message box now i'll print this to cell c4 worksheets sheet1 dot cells c4 that means fourth row third column dot value equal to position so this is the code so let's check if this code is working and there is no error i write here this time value of third word or r and let me click on this command button so position is coming as 11 same number is being displayed as in cell c4 now we need to remember that this function by default is case sensitive so if we have value in uppercase so we need to search in uppercase if value is in lowercase then we need to search value in lowercase now let's say we have h two times in this text value at first h is part of hello second h is part of how and i want to search h so by default what will happen it will find first position but in order to get the position of h from how keyword or the second value what we can do i'll just go in vba code and here i have specified just two arguments so first argument was optional but here i want to ignore first place so maybe i can give two or three or whatever you want and then this will ignore the starting three character and it will start from 
third position to search for the given text at this time the character h so i am searching same character which is h but when i click position is not 1 it is 7 so that's how we can use first argument as well so this is the vba code that we can use to utilize functionality for any string function i hope this tutorial is helpful i will be uploading some more examples of any string function in coming days like how we can extract email addresses or how we can color part of string or how we can use any string function for data mining projects so you can subscribe to my channel to get notification for upcoming VBA tutorials. Thank you.